I'm always feeling like the pressure is coming from back to front. It's never that I'm pulling his head down, okay? Because pulling has no place in, in riding, in my opinion, okay? It has to be encouragement there, pushing into the bridle. There, good. And just because I said no pulling doesn't mean you can't have contact, okay? Doesn't mean you can't feel his mouth or touch his mouth or move his fingers and hands around a little bit. Let that play in his mouth a little bit. Because that, that's good, that's positive stuff. A trot is way long. Yeah, so, okay, so don't you think you want to feel that way if you're going to get ready to trot? Yeah, I always like to feel like the horse is ready and he's thinking trot, but I'm saying not yet. Just wait for me, okay, so that it's on my aids. So when you're in that medium walk in preparation to trot, you always want to keep that feeling. Is the trot waiting in the walk? Is it coming? Is it? Yeah. Or is he stuck in park? Yeah, that's a little better. And if you were preparing him to canter, you'd want to feel the same way too, right? Does, does he feel like the canter is just like a little blink of the eye away? Or do I have to, you know, slap him with my legs and, and whack? Practice it. So the other thing that you'd be judged on now, if you were going for medium walk to trot, is the quality of the transition as well as the quality of the gait itself, okay? So he has to stay through and on the bit in that transition. And that transition should look seamless, it should look effortless. And it should feel that way too. Okay. So, tell me what you felt. Walk again. Walk again. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you felt in the transition. I felt like it felt like it was harder to get the trot. Yeah, it wasn't like you just, thought, like like you just thought the trot and you went. Okay, so you need to rev it right ahead. But don't forget where I put you away from the wall, all right, hon? Don't forget the wall. Oops. He's tall, huh? I'm showing your reins up a little bit now. Just, but you have to remind yourself not to be just so open-handed and just let him. You know, you want to keep things just a little bit more tidy. Shorten them up. Close your legs. Sit close to him. Very good. Nice and tall. You want to think like you're just a strong core. You know how your tummy feels when you do a sit-up? Right? You want to feel that in your tummy. Don't lean into your hands. Sit back, shoulders back, tummy forward. Like you had a little bit too much to eat and your belly's just a little bit bigger. Shoulders back. <coughs> Good. Let's change direction now across the long diagonal. So that would be from that corner up there <laughs> to this corner over here. That's the long diagonal. Good. Good girl. And shorten your reins again. Sit close to him. Yeah, elbows at your side. Yeah, there. Keep, keep him round, keep him bending. Oh, so we lost that turn, didn't we? Yeah, so that, that's just ring riding, you know, that's getting better at riding into your corners and riding into your short sides, okay, and that's keep your back, yeah, that's fine, if, you, if you're uncomfortable sitting for that length of time, rise, it's fine. Good. Now be his eyes and look for the quarter line. Already start looking. Keep him round. Little jiggly bit. Oh, keep your leg on him, trot. Good. Now. Push him with your left leg. Make him dance sideways. Make him trot sideways like a crab. That's the beginning. What? Keep him together, Kristen. Sit up nice and tall. Looking. Turning. Looking. Round. 
Good job. Now, left leg, right rein. Left leg, right rein. Left leg, right rein. Okay. So, change direction. That's the beginning. Okay, it wasn't perfect, but it was the beginning. So, look at me for a second. When is moving towards the, the flag side? Inside leg to outside rein. Shorten your reins. Oh, your reins are a mile too long. Come on, shorten them up. Ah, oh, he crossed over a little bit, didn't he? Did you feel that? Give him a loose rein and pet him. Okay. So she was at my house and we did it. Oh, okay. How did you know how to do that? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know anything? How'd you know how to do that? <laughs> okay, it was almost right. I just want to modify. Mm -hmm. And you don't think it has a close middle or anything? Nope, I won't. Toes in. Good girl. Remember, you want to have it perfect. Keep your elbows bent. You're up about nice and tall. Good girl. Good girl. Close your leg. Keep a feel. Keep a feel. He's checking you. You gotta check him back. Check him back. Keep him on a bit. All the way up. All the way up. Up in our laps. Almost close enough. Okay. And walk. All right. Long range. Good job. It's definitely a muscle thing because he does not feel on the shoulder. But when I launch him in one direction, he is okay. When I'm in the other direction, you know, I can't tell if it's his shoulder is because. He's gimping, and yeah. I can't tell if he's gimping because he doesn't want to reach in yeah. that way or because he's too much on that one. Yeah, sometimes those.